Well, hey family, this is Darlene. I am trying something different. I'm calling these like my stick earrings. So all I did is cut a piece of wire um, and I curled up both ends. And what I did is I beaded the wire, some color wire, uh, just for the sake of time. So I put two, four, I say put six little bitty six millimeter uh, pearls on the wire. So what I'm going to do, I had an idea in mind. And I'm going to put this on here just for the sake of uh, security while I, while I wrap it. So what I'm going to do, take some of the wire and just begin wrapping this at the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is take I'm going to take the pearls and start wrapping up let's see if you can see that start wrapping up the go wire so seeing I might not even need all of the pearls and that's okay because I'm going to do a double so I'm going to put that there and then spacing it as I go And then take that one. And then I think I can't put the last one on there, pearl. And then do that as I go. And then I'm gonna just push it down some. And then we'll have the last pearl and then wrap the wire back around to hopefully secure it. And if they come out like what I think they're going to come out, I will definitely make some more of these. I'm going to take the little color wire and just squeeze it down the best I can because I'm going to come back over it with some more wire. And see, that's sticking out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to take the end of that wire and I'm gonna curl it like so. Even if it has to unwrap it some, because I just want the end of it curled. And then once I curl the end of it, I can take it back around and then just kind of fold it over like so to where it just fits in there. And then I got another piece well, let me finish this part down here. So we'll take this and just finish wrapping it. And then I'm going to take the end of this piece and just kind of curl it and then fold it on top. Oops, right on top. And then it's coming out like this. And down here, I'm going to put a, a charm. So what I did is I beaded some seed beads. So I'm going to take the seed beads now. And I'm going to wrap at the bottom down here. Actually, let's start up here. I'm going to take the wire and start wrapping. Let's at least get a nice amount right here. So wrap it. And then I'm going to start with the seed beads, like kind of filling it in. And this is what my thought was. I don't know what it's going to look like, but we shall see. I'm not sure I don't need this many, but and all I'm doing is wrapping it around with the seed beads now. 
holding the other beads in my hand while I'm wrapping. I'm going to get that right here, holding the bead. Wrapping the wire. I'm not seeing through it. Well, maybe another one just to kind of fill in the bottom. And then the rest of them can just fall off. And then I'm going to take the wire back up. I'm going to roll the end of it. Because that basically closes it off, and I'm making sure that it meets the other wire. I'm just turning it in a, a little circular. And then I'm going to take it and then just kind of, long ones, and then just kind of fold it in like so. And then I'll take this wire. And wrap it around, but then I want to take the end of it and then curl it as where it looks like a little hoop, so you can see where it's hooped really wrap good because I'm going to just take it and, and smash it into it. Oops. And then I, when I went back and watched the video, I can hear this making a lot of noise. So I'm trying to be more careful with putting these tools down. So I'm going to fold that in like that. And then that just kind of smashes against it like so. And this is basically going to be my stick. It's a boho. And then let me do the other one. Uh, you know what? Let me see. I was gonna put the little the little hand on it, and I think I am still gonna do that. Open that up. Let me open it a little bit more. Put this on here and fold that back up like so. And then you got the little hand on there. Now you can always bend this to make it absolute straight. And you know what? I might even... Let me do the other one. And then I'll see what I'm going to do <clears throat> as far as um, two, four, six. I only need six. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. So I'm going to take the rest of these off. And then I'm going to take the wire from the bigger part of the wire and I'm just going to start wrapping it just to get enough of it at the bottom down there and then start wrapping with my beads trying to keep all the beads on the same side <clears throat> so I'm holding the bead and then I'm wrapping smashing it or pushing it down as I go <clears throat> and then we got our last bead right here making sure it's on the same side like so and then wrapping the wire up here down some un unwrap this wire so that I can wrap it some more and then let me just curl the end of it like that and then I'm gonna basically just push it down kind of smash it on there get it nice and even on here and then 
bring some wire back down around it. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to roll that part because I'm going to put my wire on top of this. So I'm going to just close it down real good, smash it in like so. And then I'm going to take my little seed beads and I'm going to make sure these are all nice and even. So if I can put them down, I can't now, but that's fine. And then I'm going to take my seed beads and start at the bottom down here. And I'm going to just start wrapping up, making sure they're all on the same side. I don't know how many seed beads did I use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I used seven. One, two, three, this will be four, put them on this side, five, and then that will be six, and this one will be seven. I'll just do both of them like kind of right here. And then we'll take the wire and wrap it up. Take the rest of these off. Wrap it around nice and I want to make sure I don't put too much wire on this one. Just to make sure that it looks about the same. Something like that. Take it around like here. Making sure one doesn't have more than the other. And then I'm going to roll the end of it. Because I'm going to smash it into the other wire. Just making sure to curl the end just so the pointy part. And then all I'm going to do is take it and then smash it into there. And then basically flattens itself on top when I smash it. So that should be pretty secure. And then I'm gonna take this end, finish wrapping this off, and I'm gonna take the end of this, curl this part just enough to where it meets the other side of that wire and then I'm going to just take it and then smash it into there, making sure that the other side, the pointy part, does not come out. So basically just smashing it in there because it's so soft, it's just going to smash in. Whatever you have it to do, that's what it's going to do. Okay, so... We got these, we got the top part, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another, I'm gonna put a hand on this one. And I think I got two small ones, I do. Put that one there. And then we're gonna close this down nicely. Straighten it up. These are some boho earrings. And then I need to, I can see where I need to straighten this up a little bit because it's too bent. And then let's put a ear wire on it. Give us an idea about what they're going to look like. And 
with this. I'm going to take it. I'm going to bend it back just a little bit. So it will be straight. And then we'll do the second one. I'm going to bend this one back just a little bit so it'll just be straight. And then we basically got our pair of bohos. And even if, if you plan to make these, even if you wanted to, you can put even more uh, charms at the bottom. You could stack it even more with um, more beads on the other side. But the idea for me is to use up this uh, color wire that I have and just try to figure out ways to, you know, to use it. I like the way these came out, so I am going to make more of these. I really like these. I like these a lot. Maybe because they're so different. Yeah, these, these are really, really nice. I really like these. Even like, um, if I add it, let me see. Even if I add a couple more charms, they don't even have to be the same. So you can add more on it or I like it with just the one. So these I'll do with just one because sometimes you can look at it. I know I can and be like, eh, that's a little bit too much. Let me just go simple. So that's what I'm going to do with these. I like these. I'm going to do them in all different colors of that wire only because I really like the way that they look. Very boho-ish. Really, really nice. And I want to thank all our new subscribers and all our current subscribers. And you know what? For all your comments and all your feedback and uh, the posting of your pictures and the Jury by BDK Creators Zone and just all that good stuff. I really appreciate you guys um, just kind of hanging out. And again, the channel is meant to just provoke thought. Um, and if you learn something from it while I'm making the jury, that's good stuff. You know, that's good stuff. And then that's the whole idea because I've looked at uh, channels. I've looked at, you know, other jury and stuff. And there are times I will look at something and thought is provoked. My creative thought is provoked. And I could say, well, you know what? I like that, but I don't like that part. I do like that part, but I don't like that part. You know, and then you attempt to make something like it, not it per se, but something like it, you know, using your own creative insight and you know it just comes out looking like who you are and it looks like your personality so that's the whole objective you know just to um for you guys to see i see what i'm making and then if you like it enough or say you know what i don't want the pearl beads i have some little bitty glass beads you know that i want to use or i got you know some multicolor seed beads that i want to just use all the way around it and not the pearl beads you know, that's the whole idea of it, just to, you know, provoke thought. But I like these. I think these are really jazzy. Um, I can see these pair of jeans, graphic t-shirts, some little cute hand decorated flip-flops, hair just flying all over the place, skin nice and clean, uh, moisturized with your uh, shea butter or your vitamin E treatment. <laughs> okay, just running free, feeling good. And a pair of boho earrings that you made yourself, right? All right, my folks. Make it a good day. We'll talk.